Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm back at you in another video, man. New media, notification gang. God squad, it's what it is, man. There is no money in Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Tyson Fury just recently signed an $80 million deal with ESPN. I repeat, Tyson the Gypsy King Fury just signed an $80 million deal with ESPN. Is PBC signing a 50 plus million dollar deal with Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder? Is Showtime looking to sign a 50 plus million dollar deal with Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder? PBC just did a contract with uh, Channel 2 with Fox. You think Fox is trying to give Deontay the Bronze Bomber supposedly the baddest man on the planet a 50 plus million dollar deal? To fight on their network. No. Tyson the Gypsy King Fury put asses in seats. Deontay Wilder don't. Anthony Joshua puts asses in seats. Deontay Wilder don't. Facts. Tyson Fury sold the fight with him and Deontay Wilder. Facts. 80 to 90% of the people that came to support that fight were to support of Tyson Fury. Facts. 80 to 90% of the people that came to the Staples Center to watch Fury versus Wilder was basically fanboys of Tyson Fury. Facts. Okay? That fight did not do the numbers that Deontay Wilder thought it was going to do. Facts. That's why he only got paid $2.5 million for that fight. But that's the same dude that's talking about $14 million of slave wages. Deontay Wilder offered Anthony Joshua a $50 million deal via, what was that, um, Instagram on social media. I don't know what platform it was on. But he made a video stating that he was going to get Joshua paid $50 million to fight him. The money's in the bag, all that shit, right? Anthony Joshua is said to make a minimum, I repeat, a minimum of $46 million for this fight. He is set to make a minimum $46 million. Minimum. So there is a high probability that he will make a lot more than $50 million for his U.S. introduction. So that lets me further know that, De that Deontay Wilder don't know his worth. That lets me further know that Deontay Wilder's promotional team, they just playing you, bro. They making you look like a real life house nigga. Real talk. Real talk. I don't see no endorsements coming Deontay Wilder way. I don't hear of nobody trying to sign Deontay Wilder to be a part of their network or their promotional platform. You know why? Because there's no money in him. Ain't nobody looking at Wilder and saying, man, we can get a killing off of him. He knocking people out. He the baddest man on the planet. Man, we need him on our network. They not saying that about you, bro. They saying that about Tyson Fury. They saying that about Anthony Joshua. Hell, they even starting to say that shit about Dillian White. Why? I don't fucking know. But people do come to see Dillian fight. I can't fake on that. I can't fret. That's real. That's facts. I think more people will come to see Dillian White fight than to come see Deontay Wilder fight. That's terrible. Now, let me tell y'all something, American people. Now, y'all so American, right? Y'all so for y'all American people, right? Why y'all not supporting your American champion? Why? You know why I don't support him? Because he suck. He sucks. Y'all spend all this time calling me a coon, saying I'm a coon, all that shit. But tell y'all, a coon is a black person that constantly perpetuates the stereotypes of black people. Who does that? Who perpetuates the stereotype of black people and keep it going? Who? It ain't me. Wilder. Floyd, Money, Mayweather, Jr. Them niggas is coons. Because they perpetuate that all we care about is money and jewelry and, and fancy clothes and stunting. 
That's 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 what we are when we rich. That's what a black man is when he becomes wealthy or when he becomes successful. He becomes a dude that wears jewelry and stunts on people and talk about how he got this and how he got this and how you ain't got that. That's what a rich black man is. Get the fuck out of here. That's what we do. We show all our money. We, we, we put our stacks up to our faces and to our ears and shit. That's, that's what we do. That's how we perpetuate success as a black man. Is wearing fancy clothes and jewelry. When I can go look at this rich white guy or this rich Asian guy who got on a, po a regular button-up t-shirt with some penny loafers on and some Levi's. But we got to be in all this fancy shit that them niggas don't even wear. You cooning, bro. You ain't helping the black people for real. You might be helping the people in your little small circle. But go to Africa and help them out. You got Chris Long, a Philadelphia Eagle, a white boy, going all the way over to Africa to help them people have clean, fresh water. Help them black people have fresh food. It's a white dude. I respect that. It's more white people going over there to help our African people than our own black people that got all this money. How many of these people that got all this money got this big old platform that's black of African descent that claim they know where they from, they know what tribe they come from, all that. How many of them is really going over to the motherland and helping them people have a better life and be successful and thrive? How many? Trust me, it ain't many, if any. I see a lot of white people doing that, and I respect that. I ain't even mad at that. But ain't no money in Deontay the Bronze Bomber Water. Ain't nobody finna pay him no multi-million dollars to be a part of their part of their um platform. It's not gonna happen. Wilder, you ain't that dude. They overlooked you. You the WBC champ. You've been WBC champ for over a decade. Ten years. That's an accomplishment. And they still overlooking you? What does that say about you, bro? What does that say about who you really are? What does that say about what you really stand for? What does that really say? You ain't worth shit. Lou DeBella, Shelly Finkel, Al Heyman, ain't none of them motherfuckers sitting there finna get you no 50, 60, 70 million dollar deal. Where, where it's at? And even if they were to get you a deal, it ain't gonna be nowhere near 50 to 80 million dollars. It might be something like 20, 30, maybe. Because you don't sell tickets. You don't sell out venues. Ain't nobody paying to come see you. Nobody. I don't even hear. It's a female I know that's from and live in Alabama. I asked her about, about Deontay Wilder. You know what they say about Wilder in Alabama? You ain't that, bro. You got, a, you got like a little section in Bama. A little section. Out of the whole state of Alabama, you got a, a small pinnacle section. That's it. Andre Ward got all of Cali, bro. He from Oakland. He got all Oakland, all of Cali. L.A., Dago, all that shit, bro. You should run Alabama. You should have Alabama sold up to where you could even run for mayor. You can't even do that shit. Because ain't nobody going to vote for you. Because you don't do nothing productive in the field that you work in. You're not impressive. You're not the guy that's like, hmm. Everybody's talking about, he knocked out this amount of many people. He knocked out this many people. But the people that really, really matter, he ain't knocking them out. He ain't knock out Fury. He knocked Fury down. He didn't knock him out. That was the end result that he knocked out Fury. That didn't happen. I don't want to hear, well, he did knock in the 12th round. Was the end result of the fight Wilder knocking Fury out? I don't want to hear what it could have been, what it should have been, what it was supposed to be. What was it for real? It was a draw. So Wilder didn't knock out nobody. So when it comes time for him to fight the top caliber elite fighters, he ain't doing nothing with them. He not looking all impressive or like the baddest man on the planet when he's fighting these guys. I was on the Boxing Voices live chat. Shout out the Boxing Voice. Everybody but fucking bitch ass Nesto. Because that motherfucker there, 
That dude sucks Wilder's dick on the norm. If there's any media outlet or any media analyst in the world that sucks Wilder's dick, it's that nigga Nesto. Nesto sucks Wilder's dick so goddamn often and well, I swear you think he his bitch. I think I think Nesto and Wilder got a little love triangle going on or something. Because how you going to say... I don't see how Wilder doesn't get no deal like this. I don't see why how Fury could get the deal over Wilder because Wilder don't got the right people around him to get that type of deal. And Wilder is not good enough to get that type of deal. And ain't nobody looking at Wilder like we need him on our network. You need more than a belt to be elite. Fury don't even got a belt. He don't even have a belt. He hold on to the lineal championship, which don't nobody give a fuck about. Nobody. Think about it. The lineal championship is not just in the heavyweight division. Do you hear any of the any division in the lower weight classes talking about how they the lineal champion? They deserve this. They deserve that. Do you hear that shit? And to make it even more shitty on Wilder, Tyson Fury is even cool with being the B side. He getting paid. Being the B-side. But Wilder, who ain't did shit in his career for real, he ain't really beat nobody except maybe Luis Ortiz. That's it. That's the only credible person. Out of 40 people, you only can give me one credible person. 40 fights. One credible person that he beat. He had a draw with Fury. He didn't beat Fury. It was a draw. Out of 40 fights, he got one person on that resume that's a credible dude. What does that say about him? If you look at all the other heavyweights in the heavyweight division, they got more than one person that they fought that's credible and they beat. And even if they didn't beat him, they fought more than one credible heavyweight. Ain't nobody tripping on Wilder. Wilder ain't what y'all think he is. He ain't what he say he is. Why you think Wilder not talking right now? Cause ain't nobody, ain't nobody trying to hear that bullshit that's coming out of Wilder's mouth. Nobody. The only person that want to hear the bullshit that Wilder got to say is fucking Nesto. That's the only motherfucker that want to hear that shit, and that's the only person that will believe that bullshit is Nesto. I don't even know why he even be on Wilder the way he do. Because it's obvious that Wilder ain't that good. It's obvious Wilder sucks. It's okay to support him because you know him. You grew up with him. You've been around him his whole career. Hey, if you support him, you loyal to that. Hey, I respect that. I ain't. I ain't that dude. He suck. He ain't what he say he is. I liked Wilder in the early stages of his career when he was humble. He was cool. He didn't talk reckless. But once he got that belt, he got a little notoriety. Everybody started blowing smoke up his ass. He got big headed and he started saying reckless shit. And I can't fuck with people that say reckless, stupid shit. Period. You don't hear nothing from Wilder because he can't say shit. This proves Wilder ain't as good as he say he is. And then and all that all that little shit you was talking about with Eddie Hearn offering you them contracts, offering that 14, 20 million dollars. You talking about that slave wages? Well, I wonder how you feel about that 14, 20 million dollars now, Wilder. Cause you only make 1.2 to 2.5 million dollars a fight. But yet, if I offer you 14 million dollars, you're gonna say that slave wages? I'm gonna tell you something about slave wages, boy. Slave wages, we didn't get paid, boy. We worked in the fields, boy. We didn't get paid, boy. That's slave wages. Not getting paid, boy. Not getting $14 million. How you gonna say $14 million, $20 million in slave wages? Get it. Let me have it then. Give it to me. I'll show you what them slave wages gonna do. That shows you how ignorant, how stupid Deontay Wilder is to say $14, $20 million. It's slave wages when you only get paid $2.5, $1.2 a fight. Get your bitch ass out of here with that bullshit. You don't know what the fuck you talking about. Deontay Wilder is a sucker. I can't wait to see him get his ass beat. I can't wait to see him lose his title because once he loses his belt, ain't nobody finna check for him. Deontay Wilder is not a dude to beat. I don't care what they say to you in the boxing community. Oh, Wilder is this. Wilder is that. Wilder ain't the dude to beat. 
Wilder is a dude to beat because he got a belt. But once he lose that belt, ain't nobody finna be like, hey, we should fight Wilder. He's a former world champion, blah, blah, blah. Like they usually do former champions. Ain't nobody finna check for Wilder. And then once Wilder lose his belt, I guarantee you he gonna get on. He gonna lead the sport of boxing. I guarantee you. He ain't got nothing to fight for, Neil. He didn't made all the money he wanted to make or he think he could have made. It ain't like the nigga broke. He going off in the sunset. But he ain't finna keep boxing once he lose. They trying to ride this train as long as they can. Because they know once Wilder lose, he gone. He out. Because when Wilder lose, he going to lose so terrible. He going to lose in an embarrassing fashion. To where he ain't, he ain't going to want to come back. He not going to want to come back after that embarrassing loss. Trust me. Because if Fury had any real pop, he'd have put Wilder to sleep. Knocked him the fuck out. Real shit. But I resubscribed to the Boxing Voice. I know I told y'all in previous videos that I unsubscribed to the Boxing Voice. I resubscribed to him because I wanted to see what the fuck Nesto and the Boxing Voice platform was going to say about all this shit going on with Wilder. And plus, the Boxing Voice do get authentic gym content. Like, you will see fighters training in the gym training in for fights and all that stuff so i respect that from the boxer voice but that nigga nesto he on some sucker shit he on some punk bitch sucker shit i don't respect dude i don't like dude he too fucking biased for me like he's ignorantly and arrogantly biased like it's obvious your fighter lost but you still gonna say uh -uh. man wilder won that he like you you still preaching that shit now yeah you a sucker I can't fuck with Nesto. I can't fuck with his biasness. I'm cool. I'm unbiased. I don't rock with that. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I hit y'all with some hot shit, man. You already know who it is. It's your boy. DT3. New media. Notification gang. God Squad, that's what it is, man. Follow me on Instagram at DT underscore boom. If you want to have a more in-depth experience with your boy, hit me up in the DMs. Ask me any question you want to ask me about boxing that's going on in today's game. Feel free to ask me. I got you. I will respond. Follow me on Twitter at DBoyWSO. Man, you already know who it is. It's your boy, DT3, New Media. Notification gang, God squad, that's what it is, man. One hundred. Fuck Wilder and Nesto.